All right, everyone, just back here with another video. So we got some footage here of Christia Freeland just absolutely embarrassing herself today during question period when her and Pierre Polyev were going back and forth. So, and again, I do apologize. I know her voice is so insufferable, but I promise, I promise that these clips are not very long. They're just over a minute. And then the, the other one is just like 15 seconds. So if you don't mind, just suffer through her voice with me and then we'll break it down after like usual. children some bannock a little carton of milk some jam some butter and a banana that was not bureaucracy that fed those kids that was the deal we've done with manitoba the are you kidding me she says that the canadian should be happy that while one in four kids go to school hungry while two million people line up at food banks, while scurvy is making a comeback after nine years of this government, Canadians should be grateful that she showed up with a few snacks at a photo op at one school. Mr. Speaker, this is the same finance minister who has just blown back $7 billion past her deficit target, meaning more inflation and higher rates. Meanwhile, the prime minister hides in the fetal position under his desk Will he call a carbon tax election now? Jeez whiz. Pierre Polyev just absolutely annihilated that whole party, basically. But he's right. And I mean, the fact that scurvy is making a comeback, I haven't he even heard of that since I was like a little kid when we were taught about it in history class. It's probably been at least 25 years since I've ever even heard of it. Now it's coming back in Canada. First world country, and we're getting, we got people getting scurvy again. But hey, don't worry, kids in Manitoba. Christian Freeland brought you some jam, a little carton of milk, some butter, and a banana. So she's good now, right, Canada? She, she's done her job, right? She fed some kids one time, and let's be honest, you're going you're gonna to put butter and jam on a banana? Couldn't even give them some bread? Do you eat that for breakfast? Do you just have a little carton of milk and then you put some butter and some jam on a banana? What are you even talking about, lady? This program that you guys are bragging about hasn't fed any ki kids, and there's one out of every four kids going to school hungry. 25% of kids. And they're up there bragging about how good they're doing. Meanwhile, Pierre Polyev actually calls them out on it. Good for him. And the fact that at the end there, when he just said, you know, Trudeau's hiding in a fetal position under his desk. I mean, that's that's just brilliant. I mean, and again, he's kind of, you know, people say he's too much like Trump. He's not really like Trump at all, actually. A little few things here and there. The one area you could actually compare the two is the insults like that. Now, Pierre's usually much more clean and not as nasty as Trump. Um, I would say Trump's also a bit funnier. But Pierre Polyev does have that attack dog in him where he's going to go after you. You screw up, you're going to have you're going to hear from him. And he's not going to let you off the hook very lightly. Now, this next clip I have is thankfully, I know I know I've already put you through over a minute of having to hear Christian Freeland's voice. This one I believe is only 12 seconds. So, we'll listen to that and um we'll talk about that after like usual. <laughs> How can he have the temerity? Oh. And see, that's just really, I just wanted to play that just because it was funny. We've clearly knocked the opposition leader off of his game. Really? How so? Because he just got up and absolutely roasted you and your coward prime minister? Is that how you've knocked him off his game? Like, what is this lady even talking? Like, is she okay? Like, is she off her meds? Is she going to start twitching again at any minute? Like, well, like, what's happening here? I mean, she is such an insufferable idiot. And I promise you, that's the last clip of this video. I'm not going to play her voice anymore. Videos of her you don't have to look at her, nothing like that. In fact, let me just scroll all the way up so that I can keep my word. You don't even have to look at her anymore. Hopefully that helps, you know, it's a little bit easier on the eyes not having to uh, have to look at her. 
and certainly easy on the ears not having to hear her. But just, like, you do actually have to wonder, like, is her mental health, like, is all the pressure that she's under right now, is that really affecting her? Because to say something is so stupid, well, we've knocked the conservative leader off his game. No, you haven't. Check the polls. In fact, we can do that right now. Because these polls were updated yesterday. So let's see. Oh, the conservatives actually took a little bit of a hit, and the liberals are up to 23%. But again, this is the average of all polls. I don't believe Abacus has come out with a poll yet. So once they come out, this number is going to change. And Abacus is conservative leaning. So this poll is basically showing you the average polls. So when you have a right leaning pollster who hasn't taken into account yet, you're going to see these numbers change. Not to mention 3-3 also goes off of history. And because the liberals have had such a good recent history, that props up their numbers. Trust me when I tell you, this 42 is going to get closer to 50. And it should be, and that's what the little, actually it should be much higher than that, but I'll take 50%. That's more than enough to get a super majority in this country. So if you so off this game, why can't you guys even break 25%? Like, you guys are so on your game and you're knocking him off his game. What are you talking about, lady? But let me know what you think in the comments section about what she had to say. And again, I apologize for, you know, making you guys suffer through hearing her, but let me know what you think in the comments section. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.